what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here i haven't done a jeepers creepers video in quite some time so i wanted to start off the new year by diving into another topic surrounding jeepers creepers and as you see here the first image is of minxie from jeepers creepers 2 uh, because we're going to be talking about that connection that she had to the creeper in that second film we know that minxie was our giselle type character for jeepers creepers 2 before he came and attacked the bus she was having premonition hallucination type visions of what was going to occur before it actually occurred with like with the tire getting popped and then also she was having hallucinations and visions of people she never met including Derry and the tagger boy that got abducted at the beginning of the second film which led to of course the taggers hunting the creeper down and saving that bus in the film Minxie's whole myst mystical or psychic connection to the creeper though it's never rationalized in the same way that Giselle's was in the original in the original film Giselle is it's made a point for us to know that Giselle is this psychic type lady who lives in town who is having visions of the creeper and she has a history of things like this she has a police scanner at home uh, people in town think she's crazy but she she apparently is an established psychic they do a good job at making it making it known that she's an established psychic now some people consider that a very weak plot device in the first film just for the sake of giving exposition to what this monster is but in comparison to how Minxie is handled, Giselle is handled in a much stronger, stronger fashion because Minxie's connection to the Creeper is kind of just out of nowhere. Her psychic capabilities seem to have been triggered by the Creeper, whereas Giselle has always been psychic. It's implied that Minxie has been psychic for quite some time, too. It's just that the Creeper triggered it. So then here's what questions arise from that. What is it about the creeper that when he comes around, he's sparking psychic visions in random people? And why is it? Why was it only Minxie? Second, if the creeper is the one doing that, why would he do that? Why would he? Why would he allow access to his mythos or put himself at risk like that? Is there something at work against the creeper? Because Minxie is established to be they even they even poke at it a bit in the film scotty makes some slick comment to her that she was waving pom-poms earlier in the day now all of a sudden she's psychic so they're well aware of this is out of the blue with no real rhyme or reason to it it's just here to serve the purpose of being our giselle type plot device this time around because keep in mind previously the idea for jeepers creepers 2 was that giselle and trisha would be featured in the film so I'm wondering if this whole angle with Minxie was to compensate for the rewrites that were ultimately done with the film because Giselle and Trisha were going to have roles in Jeepers Creepers 2 originally, but I believe uh, Gina Phillips, for whatever reason, decided not to return. So maybe that's what happened. And they altered that psychic stuff to Minxie since they wrote out Giselle and, and filled Giselle and Trisha's roles with the taggers. There's no real rhyme or reason made to why she has this connection outside of the fact that she's just here to serve as a plot device that we've already had in the past. But now Minxie creates hers just creates much more glaring logic issues and it raises more questions about the creeper that we'll probably never have answered because, again, her psychic capability seems to have been triggered by his appearance and some people have speculated that maybe when the creeper goes to certain areas he 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 like triggers these psychic connections between himself and others in the area that he's in the surrounding area but why why exactly would he do that why would he do that that's not only damaging to what what his whole intent is which is to remain under the radar and second given that jeepers creepers 3 takes place before jeepers creepers 2 he's not a big fan of people knowing what he is where where he came from or where it came from because we see he had a big temper tantrum at the end of the third film which is taking place before the second one so that already is rendered illogical because the creeper does not like people knowing what he's doing so i don't see why he would even tease 
Minxie in a manner such as that and why he would allow her to see all these other details because there were deleted scenes of them coming across old Roman skeletons, but those were ultimately scrapped. They never made it into the film. It was just a, we just got a glimpse of her with Derry for a short period of time before Derry ended up having no eyes and she woke up and that was the last time we saw her interacting with Derry Jenner in that film. Uh, the whole the whole psychic connection, I'm my ultimate theory with this is that perhaps if we get more entries in this franchise, we'll find out that there's some type of secret society of sorts. Since the creeper himself is clearly supernatural, maybe there's something else at work here against the creeper. And maybe this is where those psychic visions are coming from for random people who don't have the gift that Giselle has. Because Giselle was established as being someone who has psychic capabilities and she was having them prior to the creeper. Minxie seems to have been triggered by the creeper's appearance and his lurking in those cornfields. So maybe we'll find out that there's something going on mystically, supernaturally, just like the creeper himself, where there's something beyond the grave working against him and providing people with these visions to inform them and warn them about this thing now what purpose would these people have or these whatever they are have that's of course going to be left up to the writers to develop and establish because minxie's psychic connection to the creeper in jeepers creepers 2 for all intents and purposes it does not make a lick of sense it's it's kind of just there for the sake of filling in the missing the missing Giselle character. That's all it is. They don't really do a good job in making sense of it. They know that it's kind of just last minute because again, Scotty makes a makes a comment about it. How is she doing this now? What what's going on? We don't learn too much there about it. So perhaps we'll learn what it is about this monster that makes people have psychic visions if that's a thing because again that's a theory that other people have had i don't think that's true i don't know why he would do that but let me know what you guys think about this what do you think was going on with minxie why do you think the creeper gives visions to people possibly if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that never miss a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video